Hi everyone and welcome for this new tutorial how to punch Yulia. This miniatures come from Eden the game. This is a skirmish game in a post-apocalyptic world uh, developed by Happy Games Factory. So uh, we are going to um, see how to paint yellow, red, some skin and a little bit black. Uh, don't hesitate to like this uh, tutorial, uh, share and comment, uh, that's always be welcome. Thank you and let's go for the paint! Uh, this is a miniatures, they come in a resin cast, uh, the sculpt is done by Victor Aguilar and the concept art is done by Bruno Besadi, you can see on Instagram or Facebook. So at the beginning I primed everything in white and now I start with my airbrush to push uh, some white um, on all the miniatures. So primed in black and the first highlight in white. I am going to make the same steps um, on the miniatures and after on the penguin. I start uh, to put my basic color on the yellow. So this is a desert yellow from Ami Painter. I'm going to make the same on the penguin. Uh, and after that, I start with uh, some golden yellow from Ami um, from uh, Prince August. Uh, you will probably find the same um, uh, in, uh, in Vallejo color. I put some points of light uh, on the most um, uh, important lights and after I, I push to this light to create my transition. I'm going to make every time the same step between my penguin and the um, and Yulia. Um, as you can see, I take care about pushing a lot of highlights on the edges. That's the most important things. And now I come back with my uh, previous yellow just by adding a little bit ivory inside. Take care about uh, reaching a smaller and smaller surfaces step by step to create your transition. Don't hesitate uh, to put a comment if you have any question. Uh, if you need, uh, if you want to see something else uh, on my channel, don't hesitate to ask. That can be, uh, that's totally welcome. So now I come back with just some ivory uh, for the final um, highlights on the yellow parts. And now uh, I start the um, shadow just by using uh, the whiskey color from uh, Pro Color. This is a, a range uh, where it uh, used uh, essentially into airbrush. And I take care to don't touch the um, uh, illuminate illuminated surfaces just into the shadow now i come back with some red leather this red leather is going to uh, be my base uh, for all the um, red color uh, it's pretty interesting because that's going to be my um, one of my strongest shadow into the the, the red Always the same things, take your time to push your basic color, use the side of your brush and every every time um, uh, don't never uh, reach more than the middle of the brush with your paint, just to take care about your paint. Uh, your brush, sorry. Uh, now I start with some pure red from Army Painter. This pre red is going to uh, be down uh, pushing uh, in two time. This is the first time. And uh, after that's going to be totally uh, dry, I will come back for a second round to push more and more highlight. The Army Painter color is pretty interesting to make your transition. It's not a very covering color, but it's pretty interesting to make uh, uh, some glaze and some very clean transition. Don't, don't hesitate sometimes to change, to use and to try some new uh, color, some new range. Uh, sometimes it's 
pretty interesting. So I come back from my second step and as, as you can see I'm going to make the same on the penguin. This miniatures will be uh, is probably now available at uh, the web store hidden uh, the game uh, point, uh, point, uh, com. I continue with uh, by pushing more and more pre red every time. I use my color every time I'm going to reach a smaller and smaller surfaces. And now I come back with some orange uh, just on some few lines to push once again my highlight. After that I'm going to push a little bit more highlight on some point by adding a little bit ivory into my pure red. As you can see, uh, the mix uh, it's pretty interesting because you are going to have a very strong uh, red, uh, but it's not going to be too much orange or too much uh, pink. Um, this is pretty pretty interesting and easy to do. So it's now penguin time, so I make the same things on the penguins. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty cool to paint uh, two, three, four miniatures in the same time. That lets uh, the time to the paint to be uh, totally uh, dry before the next step. Uh, now I come back with some dark sea blue uh, to push my shadow on very small surfaces. Um, take care about the dark sea blue color from Prince August because it's very very covering color so you need to deal you a lot to create this kind of glaze. Um, a glaze is a pretty diluted uh, paint, um, it's like a filter of color so you don't need to have a lot of color, just put a little bit uh, and don't hesitate to discharge uh, the paint on your brush to just push a little bit quantity of paint. Now I start to push my basic color uh, barbarian flesh on all the skin and now as you can see I'm going to put my highlight with elf flesh. So it's a little bit always the same thing. So you need to put your um, light on some very, very, very small points uh, to create a good transition and a nice highlights on all the miniatures. I'm going to make the same on the, on the knee. This miniature is pretty easy uh, to paint and this is a pretty good practice because the surface is pretty large so it's really more easy even if uh, even on the, the face uh, we are a little bit larger than usual so that's pretty easy to paint this mini. Don't hesitate uh, to uh, take uh, you uh, this kind of mini and try yourself. The most important things to progress and to evolve in paint is to um, is to paint. <laughs> it's uh, easy like that. So now I come back with some flesh wash uh, on the head and on some uh, small surfaces, just uh, to have something uh, a skin more a little bit more alive, uh, more red. So. <clears throat> I continue uh, step by step, uh, as you can see I push a little bit of very diluted uh, red to have uh, more life on the, on the face and now I start to put um, some uh, dark tone wash uh, from Army Painter uh, on all the black parts. So it's going to be pretty more easy to make a clear distinction between these small parts of the minis and I'm going to make the same on the penguin. Um, I pretty like uh, and enjoy to use these washes but uh, always um, never forget uh, to use this 
on the um, on the parts uh, you want very very dark and don't use it um, on uh, on the flesh or on very clean clothes uh, it's always preferable to push that on some very dark surfaces so I come back with some uh, ivory directly uh, to push more highlights on the um, on uh, the different edges, uh, and that's uh, going to be very helpful to make my black color, for example, on the helmet and on the different kind of on the different details. I um, already make a video tutorial about how to paint uh, black color. Uh, it was done on um, primary, so if you need, uh, don't hesitate to take, uh, take a look to the tutorial into uh, the different pl playlist. As you can see, I make a line of white uh, uh, on the helmet to create uh, some reflection of light. And after that, I'm going to push more and more light just on the line. And more I'm going to be up um, of the helmet and more the, this line needs to be strong. When I paint uh, with uh, ivory, uh, I always use it on different surfaces with just some points of white. I create a Patreon. Uh, if you want to support me, uh, the Patreon, the, the link will be at the end of the video tutorial. Um, I make some special video for my Patreon, more focus on the, on some very some few details uh, and how to increase again your skill in uh, in painting mini. So now I come back with some black to create a better transition and more strong black on all the elements. And I come back again with some black just to push uh, more uh, shadow into, into some different kind of details. Um, I come back in the same time on the penguin. Uh, the different um, uh, step on the penguin is pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to come back with black to push more shadow, with white to push more highlights on some very small surface and some few points. And after I'm going to come back with some um, green, uh, German green from Prince August on the um, small uh, jacket he has. And I'm going to push a little bit more highlights on the green, just with a little bit more ivory. So I push more, um, more color uh, on the German uh, green. This mini is very, very small, so pretty quick to paint. It's not necessarily easy because I have to paint uh, these four miniatures in one day and sometimes uh, I need to uh, make some cuts and go directly to my goal to have something very easy to, uh, to take a, a, a nice pictures for the, um, for the um, showcase uh, image for the, for the project. But it was pretty, pretty, uh, I enjoy a lot to paint this, even if I don't have the, all the time I really, uh, I really want, but it was pretty cool. As you can see, I come back with black and white and I make a lot of, of this because it's the only way to have very nice transition and uh, good intensity into uh, the black and the white on the mini. With, uh, with the black uh, moments, uh, it's pretty interesting because I make a clear distinction between my different elements.
Now I come back on the bass and I'm going to push some uh, um, um, brown earth uh, on the bass and push always a little bit more highlight. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I really hope uh, you enjoy this uh, paint. Uh, don't hesitate once again to put uh, comments uh, to tell me if you like this kind of miniatures. Um, for the one who are interested on my Patreon, the link is the, at the end of the video. And I create a group of exchange on my on Facebook uh, only for my Patreon so you can show me what do you paint and I will give you some advice so don't hesitate to support me on Patreon and um, enjoy to paint and always uh, find the time to paint see you guys